Hi, everybody. I'm really delighted to be here from UNHCR to kick off this segment uh, of the program today, and welcome to you all. I want you to think of yourselves as if you're underneath a mango tree. A mango tree where Doreen Bogdan and I were in early July talking to Ethiopian leaders, Ethiopian farmers, and Somali refugees who were working together to try to harvest crops to feed their communities, their refugee and host communities. Think about this part of southern Ethiopia on the Somalia border where there have been 400,000 refugees and 100,000 drought survivors, people looking for food, people looking for water, and you have farmers working together to figure out what was the climate going to bring. Not only was there a drought, but a couple of months before, there were floods that wiped out their crops. The digital age has fundamentally changed conflict in the world today, for the better, but also for the worse. We have today 110 million forcibly displaced people in the world, and they find host communities everywhere, including in this part of Ethiopia. We've seen digital technology used for good. We've heard in the previous segments how it can connect people. It can mean that there's education for those that may not have. It can mean a way to find services when one doesn't know where to go for protection, for aid, for a, a, a warm house, a safe house. It can provide the tools, really, to be able to find the future. Jobs, for example. It can also, digital technology, be used for bad, for evil. Misinformation, disinformation, hate speech, polarizing the other. All of this you know very, very well. It has fueled conflicts in various parts of the world. It has meant that we have record numbers of people they are fleeing for their lives, from war, from persecution, from violence. But it can also be for the good. And this is why this segment is so important to advancing the SDGs, to making sure that no one is left behind. Where we can find a future where people are included, where people can take their own agency and make their own decisions safely when they have full information in front of them. We've embarked on a journey with ITU, with GSMA, with other partners, where we're trying to connect 20 million forcibly displaced and their host communities to be able to bring these services, this capacity, this agency, to even those in the most remote locations. This kind of digital technology, this kind of capacity, is key to the future. And this is why we want all of you to join us on this journey. So, this is something in terms of digital technology, digital solutions. It is key to peace. It is key to connecting the world. And it needs all of you. Breaking regulatory barriers, making sure that the infrastructure is there to be able to connect even those that may not have, that the, that the power is there to provide education, jobs, and livelihoods, and importantly, protection. Thank you for joining us on this journey. And please, connect the world. Thank you.